Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I have some interesting colours and an interesting concept. Now I had a bit of this um, cloud, I think they call it, a cloud pour. I've been doing, if you're new here, I've been doing this for almost five months. Um, so <laughs> I'm still learning some of the uh, terminology like you might be. So this has got, um, this is what I used, have used for my pearl pour um, and it's got a Mon Montmartre titanium white mixed with um, satin enamels and some pouring medium. And then I've got these colours here. Um, because I've only got a small amount of my pearl pour, I've watched a few artists um, I think Molly's artistry start, kicked it off with uh, her Dream Cloud series. Um, so not using the pearl mix in the traditional way. So I'm going to sort of put a few puddles of it around and use these colours with it. So I've, I've mixed these three at the front here with um, iridescent white the Liquitex. This is just straight iridescent white. This one's with Reeves Payne's Grey and this one's with Amsterdam uh, I think it's Prussian Prussian Blue Phalo. So I've mixed those three in with that and then at the back here I've got uh, Amsterdam Titanium Buff. This one is the Montmartre Soft Gold. I think I put a little bit of iridescent white but not as much. And this is a straight Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. I've also got a little bit of black left over that I may use. But the idea is to put a bit of the cloud mix or pearl pour mix, um, whatever you want to call it, down and mix this through, I guess, a bit and then do some swiping. Now, I did just watch Molly's, art, Molly's Artistry's video just to uh, see what she was actually doing and she didn't mix any swipe mix through it, which is uh, interesting because I, depending on how I lay it, I may do one traditional swipe and then the rest, I don't know, I've, instead of what I usually use, I've actually just made these with Australian flow troll. So this is a massive experiment. I don't know. Let's just give it a go, hey? So this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I've made everything reasonably runny. Actually, did I test it? I don't even know if I tested it. All right, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when I experiment, they are a complete failure. And then other times, they're the best thing I've ever done. So let's hope it's the latter. I do like a lot of color. I've added a bit of water to this because it's been sitting a while. So I'm not sure if it's thin enough really. Now I want the Payne's Grey to be my other dominant colour. So I'm going to put that down first. Save a bit. And the other thing that I wanted to do is um, not put the yellow and the blue next, uh, the, the greeny blue next to each other because uh, so many bubbles in this. I only want to 
tiny bit of the uh, bright yellow. I'll put a tiny bit of black through as well. This is the way anyone else has done it. I've got some titanium white as well. But we don't have to be the same, do we? I'm doing this, I think I'm doing this more like a, um, a purple. all recording. Uh, maybe a, a little bit of black down here. Uh, no. Maybe a here. All right. Do I want to do a traditional swipe? Just one. Maybe through here. And then I'm going to do it smaller. So let's try this palette knife. I'm going to do one traditional swipe. Wiping the colours. to use my swipe mix again. Nice. 
Mm, sometimes using your finger really helps. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this yellow going through here. Where's the buff? All right, I think I might stretch this out. Although I'd like. Nice. I like that. Alright. Let's stretch it out. Before these cells develop too much. So I want them to stretch. I really like this here. So I might just add a bit of white. I can keep this edge. All right, here we go. Okay, now we wait and see what develops, I guess. I like the colours and I was worried about getting green and we didn't get too much green. Now it's possible my paints may have been a little bit thick. I don't see a huge amount of pearls developing. There's some coming up here. Oh yeah. Question is, do I need to try and add any like I've done Previously, I can see some stuff happening through here and here. That looks quite cloudy. Getting some pearls there. Not very many here yet. Definitely some through here. I've quite got the edge covered here. So I might just do that, just a small amount.
don't want to go crazy. I think the black through there looks quite good actually. Okay, here is the wet result and I love how soft this one looks. Didn't quite get the um, cloud cells that I was looking for but um, I think this has potential. The, uh, the lacing that I tried to lay over here, it um, because the paint's a lot thinner it didn't hold together as well. Um, but yeah, I'll take it in a bit closer. I like the um, the colour palette. I think it worked well, and I like I like this corner and this corner. I think they and with the yellow going through, I think it um, works really well. So. I'm tempted to have another go at this idea, but um, not exactly sure how to go about it. Anyway, I'll bring you back when this one is dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And I'm, I'm really loving this piece. Uh, I wasn't too sure about it at first because of the lacing, but actually, it actually looks quite organic okay. and we've got sections of lacing I like the composition of this and I like I like how the the gold goldy yellow sort of flows through and the white makes it all nice and soft and we've got the pearls that are soft and I'll show you the shine because the blue and the and the uh, the gold, the the soft gold, all pops and it's particularly uh, where is it through? Let's just turn it around through here. This lacing here. Let's see if I can show you, but. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but through the lacing, the um, blue actually shines through the lacing there, and it also does it up the top here. And it looks really cool. I love it. I keep coming back in to the uh, studio and uh, looking at this piece because it's just. Um, I don't like it this way though. <laughs> this way looks good. Yeah, it just that's not too bad. This way also looks good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think because I really like this and I think there's a lot of promise in this kind of look. Um, because it's got different elements in it. It's got the the lacing, it's got some pearls, it's got some rivers of colour going through it. The white through here is quite soft. Um, and we've got pops of pops of uh, shine. It's not shining all the way through and in fact the black, if you can see it there, the black has no shine at all. And I think that is a great contrast in in the shine so yeah i'm very happy with this one 
Um, I will definitely be doing some in the near future. Uh, probably in the next couple of videos I'm going to do a swipe, just a swipe and just a pearl pour and then I might do another mix of the two. So this one should be out for Sunday night, which will be Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. Then, yeah, then I'll get another one out on Tuesday. And then Thursday is the collaboration, which will be Thursday night in the US and Friday morning here in Australia. So yeah, keep your eye out for that one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.